Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is Sunday, July 12th, 2020. Coming to you early Sunday morning because I've got a NASCAR free pick coming up on this report. We've only done this once so far this year. Even though I'm in action every week, even though I've been betting on NASCAR since 1996, uh, it's a situation where the way the videos have fallen against the KBO, the Korean Baseball League, we haven't been able to give out a lot of NASCAR, but when we have here on the free pick report, we won. We won 1-0 a few weeks ago. So let's look to stay perfect and make it 2-0. Got a NASCAR matchup coming for you in just a second. Uh, another big day on Saturday in soccer. We cashed a seven-star play, and uh, we are now with our six-star and seven-star elite-level plays in soccer. We are up, if you're betting just $200 per unit, we're up over $11,000 on this run going back to April. In fact, all my soccer plays, no matter the rating, we are now up, if you're betting just $100 per unit, almost $5,000 with all plays, all soccer plays, all ratings, and uh, we just continue to have great success this this soccer season and we're handicapping basically three or four leagues it's about 25 leagues going on right now again I like to keep it simple so we've been handicapping about three or four leagues and uh, it's a situation where we've been doing really well with these leagues so here's the, the reason I'm talking about this I've got one play one soccer play it's a simple side one soccer play aside on Sunday afternoon and it will be available at 11:30 a.m. Eastern now you can go grab it right now the package so you don't miss out but uh, we'll look to make it eight and two with our last ten soccer plays four star play on Sunday as far as KBO listen it's about a little after midnight Pacific time early Sunday morning so those plays are going off in just a bit about 45 minutes from now we'll be watching KBO we did have two premium picks uh, that are going for Sunday morning we'll update that record when it comes to Monday night's video gonna take Sunday night off from videos like we have in the last couple of weeks and we look to rebound from a loss on Saturday I wanted to not forget to mention that we did lose on Saturday in Korean baseball we'll look to come right back on Sunday and go 2 and 0. So we got soccer, we got Korean baseball on Sunday morning, and then of course NASCAR. You can grab the package right now. I've got a seven star and a three star. We swept last weekend, and we'll head into this race at Kentucky 33 and 15 on our current NASCAR run. That's all plays seven star, six star, five star, four star, three star across the board 33 and 15 with all plays. Swept last week, hit a seven star, hit a three star, and we're going to rack it up and look to do it again. Seven star play and a three star play on my NASCAR package right now for Sunday's race at Kentucky. And a real quick note, uh, the race starts a little bit earlier than normal. It goes at 2.35 p.m. Eastern, 11.35 a.m. Pacific. So don't wait around too long if you do want to join me on my NASCAR plays. All right, uh, let's get to our NASCAR free picks. We've been doing these since 1996, and uh, we've been called the top NASCAR better and handicapper for the last 25 years. And let's see if we can give you another free pick winner here in, in NASCAR in the Cup Series. We're play the Cup Series, by the way. Very rarely do I get involved with trucks or Xfinity. So let's talk about the Cup Series race, which is at Kentucky this week. And I'm going to give you a matchup play in just a moment, but I want to talk real quickly about Kyle Busch uh, because he has yet to win a race in 2020. Listen, I get it. He and his crew, the Joe Gibbs number 18 Toyota Camry, he and his crew miss practice sessions, which we haven't had since the restart. Friday practice sessions, Saturday qualifying, Sunday racing for the most part, for most of the weeks throughout the year is how it normally goes. And they are very, very uh, focused on seeing what little adjustments need to be made after a practice session. And Kyle Busch has dominated. Now, in no way has he been bad this year. He just hasn't won a race. If he's going to win a race, folks, this is the track made for him. Uh, of the nine races at Kentucky, he's got the best average finish of about 4.7, 4.6, right around there. He's won a couple of times. He's won three times in the Xfinity races at Kentucky. He's won twice in the Truck Series. I mean, this is his track where he is supposed to win. And so I think he can get a win here. I would not bet against him in matchups. This is why I'm talking about it. I've heard a couple of people talking about betting against Kyle Busch. Yeah, maybe he doesn't have the race that he wants. I think he will. And I think only bad luck can keep him from finishing in the top three on Sunday. But I, at the very, here's the deal. Kyle Busch on Sunday, I think either bet on or stay away from it. You don't bet against him in this particular race. That's my advice. And the reason I'm talking about Kyle Busch is because I've seen some people saying, uh, you know, let's go against him here because uh, the value is against him on a couple of matchups. Well, I don't believe so. You either ride Kyle Busch or you stay away from Kyle Busch matchups. I like him in this particular race. And you can't go wrong, obviously, with Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin. I mean, these guys have been dominant since the restart. Uh, and they both enjoy mile-and-a-half cookie-cutter tracks 
tracks like they've got at Kentucky Speedway, uh, 17 degree banking, all that kind of stuff. So this fits their liking, fits Kyle Busch's liking, and there's uh, they know how to win at this track, man. They know how to finish strong, so there's not as much need for practice sessions. Obviously, they don't have them since the restart. All right, that's our thoughts on Kyle Busch. Uh, we think you can throw Harvick in the mix. You can throw Denny Hamlin in the mix when it comes to some of your matchups, potential winning bets. Brad Keselowski has done well here. Three wins and nine races at Kentucky, as I'm uh, referring to my notes, and, and I think he'll do well. But here's the matchup that I'm going to suggest and recommend. Eric Armarola, we had him last week. He was our seven-star winner at Indianapolis in a head-to-head -head matchup. And we talked about the fact that his price was still low, even though he had had four top fives over the last four or five races before that. And guess what? The books are starting to catch up to Almarola's success. It certainly doesn't hurt this guy to be Kevin Harvick's, Harvick's teammate and his crew and Harvick's crew talking about how to set up the cars before each race for certain tracks. Five straight top fives for Eric Almarola, couple of third place finishes in that mix. And I like him here again. You can throw out all those race results that he's had in the past, no matter what track he's at, because he's finally got elite equipment and he's showing with the right ride under him, the right equipment, he can be a premier NASCAR driver. Now, the matchup I'm gonna talk about is, I like him over Clint Boyer. Everybody's a Boyer fan who's a NASCAR fan, but you know, he hasn't been bad, but he's been finishing for the most part around 15th this season. He was sixth at Kentucky last year with Stuart Haas Racing, but when I look back at his five previous starts, including a couple more with Stuart Haas before last year, his average finish was 18th. And again, two of those came with Stuart Haas Racing before a decent run last year. I, I just don't like him in this matchup. I think, again, you've got Almarola, and until he shows us that he's going to cool off, I think he's got a top five or six finish in him again. And as far as Clint Boyer is concerned, I think he's going to be in that 15 to 18 mix by, by race in. So uh, free pick is going to be Eric Almarola. Right now he's laying about a buck 45. That's another quick note. Prices are going up on Eric Almarola week by week now with five straight top fives. And I'm not sure how much longer we're going to be able to use Almarola, but we got him here over Boyer. Minus a buck 45, Eric Almarola over Clint Boyer. It's going to do it for me. You know what I got going on on Sunday? Go check it out. Doc Sports will look to go to 35 and 15. If we get a 2 0 sweep in Sunday's NASCAR race, we'll be 35 and 15 with our last 50 NASCAR races. Don't miss out on that. Don't miss out on Red Hot Soccer. I'm Scott Sprite. So if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Talk to you again Monday. Monday between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll post our video at the very latest. We'll see you then. Have a great Sunday.